Violet, do you have a moment? Hey, Mom. Sure, what did you want to talk about? Daniel is moving back into his old room. What? He is? So you genuinely had no idea that your husband was moving back in with his parents? I'm on the bus on my way home from work right now. Did he give you a reason why? He didn't tell me anything. Well, if you're really unaware, I guess there's no point in beating around the bush. I'll tell you myself. He said he wants to divorce you. Divorce? But why? Oh, and don't bother trying to contact him. He says he never wants to speak with you again. What is going on? He's never said anything to me about a divorce. I can't believe he would do this without talking to me first. I'm just telling you what he told me to tell you. Okay, well, I'm going to try and contact Daniel myself. <laughs> Daniel, what's this about you wanting a divorce all of a sudden? And why would you up and move back into your parents' house? If you had an issue with their marriage, you should have told me. Is there something wrong? Answer me, Daniel. I know that you're reading this. Don't you have anything to say to me at all? Daniel, answer me right now. <laughs> Daniel, what is wrong with you? You don't even have the courage to give me the divorce papers yourself. You had your mother bring them to me. She said that you want to finalize the divorce by tomorrow. Daniel, what is going on? You suddenly move out a month ago, and today I hear, through your mother, that you're willing to leave me the house if I don't ask you why you're divorcing me. We still haven't once had a face-to-face -face discussion about this. Will you really not even talk to me, just once? I get that you're serious about the divorce and you're not willing to try and work things out, so I'm not going to put up a fight. But I'm hurt and saddened that you won't tell me why. <laughs> what on earth was that? Valor. I mean, I'm the one who said I wanted a face-to-face -face conversation. But our divorce is going to be finalized tomorrow. Why are you crawling into my bed in the middle of the night? I could smell alcohol in your breath when you hugged me. Are you drunk right now? Valor. Please, Valor, I have one last request. The last request I'll ever make to you. What is it? I'll never ask you for anything ever again. Please hear me out. Hear you out? You spent the last month refusing to speak to me and now you want me to hear you out? Our divorce is already a done deal. What could you possibly want to tell me now? It wasn't my idea. I don't want to divorce you. What are you talking about? My brother came back home. Your brother? The one who ran out of the house after a huge fight with your dad 15 years ago and hasn't been heard from since? Yeah. He somehow found out about my dad dying three years ago when he came back to our house a month ago. Wait, I think I remember you telling me about him. My mother was always obsessed with him, giving him anything he wants, and he's a reason for my childhood trauma. And now he's back at home? Wait. Are you saying you're divorcing me has something to do with your brother? They took my phone away from me for the last month. What? A month ago, my mom told me to come to the house immediately, that it was an, an emergency. And when I got there, my brother was there. See, it brought back my trauma. I had a panic attack, and while I was incapacitated, they took my phone. What about your job? When my mom called me, she told me that I should bring my work computer along because she needed to be with me for a while, so I did. They've been taking turns watching me to make sure I didn't try to contact you. So, for the last month, I haven't been able to communicate with anyone unless it's for work. And they've locked me in the house. That's... that's unbelievable. Why are they doing this? My brother's after the money I make on my freelance projects. When he found out from my mom that I'm married and not living at home anymore, he decided to make me divorce you so he can keep me there and live off my income. And mom has teamed up with him. Your mom is a part of this? But you've been paying her $1,500 a month for as long as I've known you. Why is she doing this? Like I said, she's obsessed with my brother. He's the only one she loves. She only ever saw me as someone she could use to finance her lifestyle after my brother left home, but now he's back. 
and their plan is to use me like an ATM from now on, so they won't have to work anymore. Daniel. Sorry to bother you with such a downer story. I know it's an important time for you at your company, and just being promoted and all, and it's partially my fault for not being able to stand up to my mom and brother for this last month. If you say you want to divorce me, I'll understand, but if it's not too much to ask, then please, Violet, could you give me one more chance? Can I ask you something first? Yeah, go ahead. First, who signed your name on the divorce papers? Huh? It looked like your handwriting. Oh yeah, the divorce papers. I don't have any evidence, so I can't say anything for certain. But I think it was my mom. Her handwriting has always been similar. She could probably fake it easily. Okay, got it. Next, your childhood trauma is what's kept you from standing up to your brother for the last month, right? If that's true, then I'd like an explanation for how you were able to get out of the house and come see me tonight. Right. First, my brother bought a bunch of beer and was having a drinking party with my mom. But then all of a sudden, they started forcing me to drink can after can after can. I had no idea what the occasion was, but I was just playing along with them at first. Then when they passed out, I saw my chance to escape from the house, and I took it. When I took back my phone and checked your messages, I saw that you had agreed to the divorce. Is that why they were celebrating? Yeah, I think so. They had been monitoring me for a month, so I bet they were pretty excited that their scheme finally paid off. This was the first time I'd heard anything about the divorce, so I hurried as fast as I could to call a taxi and tell you the truth. Ah, so that explains why you were acting excited and also the alcohol in your breath. I guess they were unaware of how big of a drinker you were. I bet they didn't expect you would outlast them. Right. My brother left the house when I was still a minor. And I've never really done much drinking around my mom. The only person I ever drank with was my dad. He was my only ally in the family, and he's gone now. Wow, I see. Yeah, hey, sorry about startling you like that before. It was the first time I'd seen you in a month, and I kind of got overwhelmed by emotions. It's all right. Do you believe me, Violet? Well, you've told me about how awful your brother was to you a bunch of times over the years, and I can see for myself how your mother's favoritism has affected you. So, considering that, your story does make sense. Thanks, Violet. I'm sorry too, Daniel. I knew about your past, but still didn't have enough faith in you to resist the divorce. I lost faith in you once, but I won't do it again. That means a lot to me, Violet. Also, by the way, this is all pretty sudden and bizarre, but you should probably lay low for a while. Really? Why? I'm coming over to you to tell you the details, but for now, let me just say that we have a lot of work to do tonight. Okay, gotcha! Violet? Are you there? Where's Daniel? Good morning, Mom. What's the matter with Daniel? He's gone! I thought he passed out drunk with us last night. Did you have a party? Yes, we did. We were celebrating that you finally agreed to divorce Daniel after a long month of hard work. But I woke up just now and Daniel is gone. All of his things are gone too. Even the computer he brought over here for work. Do you have any idea where he's gone, Violet? Can't say I do. You may be divorced, but you were still married for years. You haven't heard anything at all from him? You know we haven't met for a whole month. Yes, but regardless... Why would he come here? He's the one that wanted to divorce me, isn't he? Or maybe he didn't really want to divorce me at all, and he was somehow trapped in your house for the last month. Maybe he came here to tell me the truth about everything. Is that the possibility that has you so nervous? That's a completely ridiculous story. He hates you so much that he couldn't bear to meet you, and he had me deliver the divorce papers for him. If that's true, then there's no point in contacting me like this now, is there? Well, I suppose you have a point. Oh, what am I going to do? Where in the world did Daniel go? Violet! 
You moved? Huh? I just came to the apartment you and Daniel were living in, but a new family was living there. Oh, right. I was already planning to move for my job at the time, and I guess when I think about it, the divorce came at a pretty convenient time for me. That's all. It's a simple story, really. But this all happened months ago. Oh, this is terrible. What's terrible? I've been searching for Daniel for months, and he just called me the other day saying he's cutting me out of his life. Wow, he is? He stopped sending me the usual $1,500 a month. I've had to really tighten my belt now. I guess I have no other choice. That boy is of no use to me anymore. Violet, you can marry my other son. Excuse me? This is your responsibility. Daniel was your husband and he's gone and vanished. I'll organize a wedding at the local courthouse for this Friday and you can move in on Saturday. Understand? Uh, yeah, that's not happening. You have no right to refuse. I'm married right now. You what? You're already remarried? Sorry, I need to make an important phone call now. I'm gonna have to leave this conversation. Oh, don't you dare! If you're not going to support this family, who will? Daniel, I just heard from your mom. Wait, she contacted you instead of me? Maybe it's because I told her I was getting her out of my life. She told me that I have to marry your brother and support them. What a total weirdo. <laughs> she did. As if I would ever agree to that, right? <laughs> yeah, not a chance. I'll go ahead and cancel the contract for this phone as soon as possible. Right, I'll do the same for mine. Are you at the bus station right now? Yeah. I'll be getting on my bus soon. I should probably go. I'll call you when I get off. Awesome. I'll be waiting. Take care. Thanks, Violet. I'll see you soon. The truth is that I moved out of the state for my job. I never divorced my husband. He simply made a request to his company to make his temporary work from home arrangement a permanent one, and they accepted. After getting a few things taken care of, he joined me over here. As for his mom, since she got greedy and tried to steal all of Daniel's income, she ended up losing the 1500 he had been sending every month. And since Daniel's brother refused to leave the house, she had no choice but to go and get a job herself. But there's more. Daniel's brother only came home because he was running away from a loan shark, but he got found. I'm not sure why, but when they came for Daniel's brother, they took both him and his mom with them to their black site in the city, where the two of them are now on the long and hard path to repaying his debt. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.